Week four of four. Today we are testing the final new weapon, the Drac 25 Plasma Carbine. So, I don't ever go anywhere without uh, without uh, special powder, so that's kind of out of the question. But, I wish there was a claim all button. I really wish there was a claim all button, because getting every single skin for every single weapon on every single class every time you unlock one from the past is just annoying so i've tried to use this a little but i want to i want to test out um see there's a there's a lot of cool ones for this there's a bouncy there's just a less heatier then there's this one which is one of the fan favorites as far as i'm aware this one which i found to be interesting although not exactly powerful um this one which is also interesting, although it seems to be a significant increase to damage and velocity at full shield. Is that all or nothing? Or is that percentile-wise? I was guessing that's all or nothing based on the wording, which means that it's pretty, pretty weird. Also, there's no stats for it, so I don't know how impressive the boat buff is. And then there's just... Cooldown after overheating returns ammo, but significantly less ammo. So at like half ammo, you'd think that this would return a fair amount of ammo. But I'm guessing it's not going to be infinite. Because that would be ridiculously overpowered. But then we have aggressive venting. And aggressive venting on the minigun is an upgrade, and it's one of my favorites. This is an overclock, and I'm gonna, I want to try this one out. So, burn AoE on overheat, faster overheat recovery. Yeah, 0.8 second faster, but less ammo, only a little less ammo, and decreased cooling rate. I should probably unequip this so I get the full stats. Yeah, there you go. Um... Doesn't actually show in the thing so what we want to do is take manual heat dump which allows you to send it into overheat mode once you hit 50 percent heat instead of thermal feedback loop which is a boosted rate of fire this should specify that it can only be dumped past 50 percent because otherwise it's misleading then there's splash which unlike the bulldog revolver splash this is a flat damage reduction for a flat splash instead of a percentile damage reduction for a flat splash which makes it a lot better uh but otherwise there's armor breaking and electrocute um i'm gonna take the splash because it used to be complete and utter garbage in the experimental branch but i think that's because it wasn't registering properly so i want to see if it's any better now then we've got shot spread coolier and speed boost during overheat i want to take that because i'm going to be overheating a lot uh, plus, oof, plus fifty percent damage or uh, plus thirty three percent ammo. Well, considering I'm going to be doing a lot of overheating, I might actually want the ammo so I can trigger more overheats. Actually, hold on. Yeah, so flat plus two. So actually, this would be a much more total damage year pick. But I'm going to take the ammo anyway because I'm not sure if most of my damage is going to be coming from direct hits. And then I want... Uh, let's take the rate of fire. Okay. And just to compare, I've got all the ammo, blow through, reload, and heat on the shotgun. And I just noticed the shotgun has four clean overclocks. Wow. Okay. And... We are going to head into an egg hunt because I am promoting my engineer. Oh, it's haunted caves. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a uh, fun. This is gonna be real fun. Dark Morkite. Okay, no buff beer for me. Not that it would be fair. Oh boy.
Okay, so this utterly sucks for taking out Praetorians. Like, complete, utter, not usefulness. Like, I don't think it- I don't even know if it was doing any damage. It definitely was doing damage, but it wasn't doing a significant amount of damage. This is a bad idea. This is a terrible idea. I should not have just jumped down here. Hey, loose Jade is. Man, it seems to have a really short range. Stupid warden. Oh, I get it. The power increases the more heat you have. Okay. So if you use this, oh god. So if you use the heat dump, then it does less damage. Okay, then maybe I should take the faster rate of fire, so I can overheat faster. Here, Bosco, pull that out for me. Oh hey, a machine event. Which one is it? Oh, it's a uh, cursite. Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna do cursite on a friggin' uh, like I'm gonna do cursite on a literal on a haunted cave mission. Like that's a terrible idea. No way I'm gonna do that. Ow. God, I'm not doing very well. Am I already down to 350? Am I already down to half? How the hell am I already down to half? Come here. Maybe this isn't very good. I'm wondering if fighting bugs and moving dirt is the best way to make a living. I call for the mule. Alien, go! God, I am not doing very good. I need red sugar. Well, I held C. Oh, my hover boots were on cooldown. God damn it. Lurker, at least I came out of the net positive for health. These guys seem awfully rapid. Like more so than usual. Molly, come here, here let's go grab that for me. Now. But there ain't no way that I'm doing this machine event. Not Curse Sight. If it were anything other than Curse Sight, then maybe I'd try it. Well, maybe not Omen. And probably not Tritolate either. You know, on second thought, machine events don't really mix well with haunted caves. Nothing really mixes well with haunted caves. It's just a real annoying deposit. mutator. Bosco, Didn't think I'd have to do it again, but assignment demands it, so it's the only time. I'll avoid it whenever possible. Okay, here he comes. He's also a bit annoying, because he just makes a lot of noise. God, are more enemies spawning? I didn't realize they that there was a constant blue red sugar here. I didn't realize there was a constant stream of spawns during Icon. I don't play Icons all that much. Not this way, at least. Uh, 78. God damn it. My biggest problem with this mutator is that the mule is a real shackle. Like, it's really hard to do this solo. It doesn't really mesh well. Because the mule just moves only a little bit faster than the than the ghost. So you're struggling to try and get to a point where you can actually deposit. But you can't, because the ghost is constantly moving toward you, and if you try and call Molly away, the ghost you need a lot of distance, otherwise the ghost is gonna keep up. And if you try and just bleed the ghost away, then Molly will come relocate to you. It's a just a big fusion of everything. This is like the one mutator, like, even even low oxygen I feel like is working as intended. This is the one mutator I feel like just doesn't really do a whole lot for the gameplay style. I mean, like, low oxygen is just a flat-out annoying. This one it feels annoying in a poorly designed way. Like, it feels like it doesn't belong in here. Help me mind this. Now, this is a terrible place to fight a swarm. 
Time to earn your yeah, here it comes. Okay, the there's only one exit. And I'm leaving. Oh, hey, more nitro. Okay, okay, there goes my health, there goes all of my health. Okay, I'm starting to think this splash mod is overrated. Yeah, especially considering the circumstances. The splash mod is overrated. That said, the overheat does seem to work well. But I think it would work best if it was at max. Yeah, it seems to scale based on how much heat you have. I really want to make this work because I enjoy the playstyle of like getting into the group and then overheating your weapon. And then there's the hot foot. Here, just. I just don't think this splash mod works. I don't think this overclock's very powerful. I'm down to 66 already? What the? Okay, I think this the splash mod is what's doing it. So I'm gonna try changing out the splash mod. Also, I've, I've locked Molly. Oh god, there I go. There I go. Sugar! Did I mention that I consider Scout the weakest solo class? I actually do. I consider Scout to be the weakest solo class. It's because... Oh god, there goes my bullets. It's, it's because he doesn't have a lot of firepower. And in solo, when you've got a literal flying drone that can pick up stuff off walls for you, mobility is not what you need. Ah, there I go. Stupid oppressor. Just kill him already. Oh, I'm pinging the goddamn horror. <sighs> Give me that supply. No. Give me that supply. And his movement... Oh, God. Back to back? You're gonna pull that? You're gonna do back to back on me? Fine. Back to friggin' back. At least I'm not gonna get any more swarms for the rest of this objective. Here, Bosco, it'll probably go better if you if you provide fire support. God, there's so much delay on that rocket. There's so much delay, it's hard to use. Yeah, I think this splash mod is really overrated. I want to make it work. I really do. I want to make this gun work. I don't think it's bad. I just think that this is not a very good overclock for it. Get 
that Praetorian. Yeah. God, I'm, I'm already down to half again. It's the splash bot. I'm pretty sure it's the splash bot. It's just there's not enough grouping happening for it to be worth it. Because really, there only needs to be um, one enemy, one other enemy nearby to recoup the entire damage. But. Are those web spitters or wardens? I can't tell. Bosco, come here. They seem to be web spitters. Just go grab that one. Donkey, come here. I'm pretty sure it's the splash mod that's causing these problems, so I'm gonna take off the splash mod. Heck, I'm, go I'm just gonna run the exact same build but without the splash mod, and then we'll see how much better it ends up being. to death. So many toughies. Stay by my side, Bosco. No, Bosco. Oh, come on. Rock seriously need to invest in some better equipment. Now, for the love of Last one's in here. In the top. In the top. Top, the top, the top. Hello. Goodbye. I need ammo. Again. Okay. 
So while the mules go in there, I'm going to lead the enemies over here. Then while the enemies are all piling up over there, I'm just going to casually take my leave. Where? Oh, all the way to the other side of the cave. Right? Oh, just right up here. Sweet. Take some of that. Oh, hey, Grappa. Any Grappa's good, Grappa. Now, here's hoping I actually get a chance to get into this thing before the horror arrives. Get me out of here. Yeesh. Yeesh. Okay, I'm just gonna replace the splash, the splash mod with a um, overcharged, and we're gonna take this exact same thing except with the splash mod off into the mission, and we'll see how much better it does. Also, what the heck are these gunk seeds supposed to be anyway? Like, I get they're just material. Oh god, already? Wow, did not expect that. Wait, no, it's over there. Can I reach that? Is that too long? No, it's not. That's also valid. Three segments. Uh... God damn it. Yeah, it seems to just be heat. It's just heat, it's not actual damage. It's just heat and fear. Okay. So that's way worse than I thought it was. Because as I've said a couple of times already, the miniguns... The miniguns actually does damage. It does actual damage and it sets enemies on fire. I mean, it's still good for things like taking out swarmers and grunts. It's just not nearly as satisfying or as powerful. And it's also not very useful to proc two times on the same group of enemies because they're already on fire. Please, please do not tell me that the third pump jack is back here. It's back here. God damn it. Let's get the more time. What the heck is this cave generation? It's good for making escapes. It's not bad, I will concede that. Oh. That is bad, though. Everybody chill out for me. I'm gonna die. You go kill me. Where's that red sugar? Am I out? These pipelines are going to have to cross a bit, but that's life. This one's going to be a lot nicer, because the area is so open. There we go. Look at this one. Bosco's almost done with his. Uh, I'm going to throw down another resupply. I'm not going to pick yet, because I have decent ammo. Oh, some red sugar here, that's good. There's a lot of stuff on the walls, but I honestly can't be bothered. Especially when I want to get out of here at a decent pace, so I can test out another build on this thing. Let's get this party started! Start 
This isn't bad, it's just not quite as useful as the other, as the miniguns, uh, recipe. Which is a shame. Though that was a bit much to expect from a scout weapon. But it was... It was fun to use aggressive venting on the minigun. In fact, that's still my go-to build, a, a fire minigun. Alright, here we go. Just, of course, it's the longest, the longest and twistiest one that ended up out. Ended up breaking. Please have this be the only break. Please have this be the only break. Ah, it's not the only break. Alright. Alright. Fine. At least I can grind on this one. Oops. There we go. Okay. That's our last break, I'm pretty sure. The extraction of liquid morkite is running again. Keep up the good work, or we'll be done in no time. Rocket. I'm sure it'll be way easier with practice, but I don't know if I like this build. It's not it's not my build. Alright, let's let's get our let's get ourselves home. So uh, those were the four new weapons introduced into the game in the latest update. So I'm gonna I'm gonna order a beer. Could I get a round of smart stout? And then I will see you in the next video I will do, which I have no idea what it's gonna be. So, uh, so stay tuned for that.